Salute to your tutti! It's another splendiferous day at our palazzo. Oh, it really is. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's October. It's one of our favourite, or the favourite month. My favourite. Yeah, um, in Abruzzo. And um, we've just walked down from the village. Um, Oh, actually, that's a lie. We drove down. Yes, but it's a like, <laughs> tiny drive, but, yeah, you know. Just down to the pond, which you can see behind us, and um, the village up there. And um, we've brought a packed lunch. Uh, there's lots of picnic tables around the pond, but oh. no. We're going to go for a little walk um, just to show you the gorgeous, gorgeous nature. Walk. Walk. Just, I mean, literally minutes down. L lots of nature here as well. Yeah, minutes down from the village. Um, yes, lots of nature Frogs. here. We've just disturbed loads of birds that were in the reeds. Um, Re reed birds, <laughs> frogs, probably eat the frogs, yeah. the reed birds. And Gi then giant grasshoppers. Oh, giant, with legs like we've never seen. Yeah. And koi poo. Uh, yeah, well, yes, that's what we think we saw. No, no, we did see. It was definitely a koi poo. And I looked them up and I found that they are all over Italy, actually, and we okay. didn't know that. Yeah, we, we saw them um, when we've driven up to the village, past or near the pond here, um, in the evening, sort of yeah. around six o'clock, aperitivo time. Yes, yeah. he was going to have making... his aperitivo <laughs> yeah. in the town. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, he'd just come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he finished his yeah. aperitivo. Maybe he had a rummage in the bins I or think something. he had, because he was right anyway. by a house, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, let's go. Let's, we're going to sort of head over that way. And um, up there into those beautiful hills. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll, we'll take you on a walk with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, literally a few minutes' walk from our palazzo. It's one of many. It's one of many. Catch him, stop. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's for my collection. Look at that. That's a porcupine quill. Yeah. We find them quite often, in, don't we, in the Brussels? Yeah, got I've, a I've got um, a little vase with about 30 of them in. About 20 of them I found in one go. They make really posh cocktail sticks. <laughs> They're really good for getting the olives. I found uh, 20 in one go. <laughs> Obviously a porcupine had had, had a had bite, a, yeah. yeah. But yeah, just listen. The loudest thing is a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. You want to come and experience being in true proper wilderness in Italy, come here in Abruzzo and come on this walk near our palazzo and San Benedetto. The chances of you bumping into anyone are zero. And, and come in October. Oh, this the is best month. This is October. Yeah. It's not humid and it's uh, not ridiculously hot. It's probably late 20s, maybe maybe 30 degrees. Most. No, no, it's not. It's, it's about... Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I'll have a look. Okay. I think it'll be in a high 20s, maybe as much as I 30. think it's 24. Do you? I think it's 24. Okay, it's 27. Okay. So it's close. You said maybe 30. Oh no, it's just changed. Yeah. Oh, seriously, it's just changed today, 31. Hi, 31. So it's current location unavailable. So what is it actually picking up, Andrew? It's right, I'm going to switch the camera off now because we're going to have a little... No, no, we're not. No, yeah, we it's are. 29. So I was right. You were close, I was close, but I was close. Yeah, I'll just dip the seat for you. I'm trying to work out whose skull that could be. Could it be a wolf? Yeah. Look at the teeth. Yeah. Grinders at the back for me and terrors at the front. It could be a Abertese sheepdog. They're big. They've got yeah, big heads. It, it's unlikely that a sheepdog would die up here, but a wolf could. Because they, they, they're all the top by shepherds. Fresh time from your wild garden for your kitchen. It's gorgeous to have a smell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's the other thing. You can do plenty of foraging.
so there's only a few little bits on this walk that are uphill um, and uh, but it's good for you to walk up the hill and then you've got the downhill which obviously is a lot faster and a lot easier and we've seen from the tracks that there's been a few mountain bikers yep they're really whizzed down here Wonderful. yeah must be a fantastic bit mountain bike down look at this You can see where they put their brakes on, where they've skidded. To, oh, just push by, why don't you? I know, I've got to keep the momentum going. Not stop. So we've just come out of the trees into a clearing and um, we've got a little way to go now and then we come out to an open area we call the Mini Cambo Imperatori, yeah, which we love. Beautiful views. Yeah, we'll show you. Yep, we are. I don't know if you can see just that uh, funny cut out mountain shape. Anyway, anyway, that was or that is a uh, Rocca Tagliata. And um, that's a lovely walk, a very steep walk, but oh my gosh, the views when you get to the top of that one all the way to Pescara are just stunning. He told me that we're nearly there, but I think there's a little way to go. Absolutely starving. It's way past lunchtime and I've got to have breakfast this morning. Still, I've uh, had 10 days in the UK and I've, uh, I've uh, recharged my fat supplies. <laughs> my fat reserves with lots of Cadbury's chocolate and Walker's crisps. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be alright for a while. Okay, so we're just coming up. So, yeah. He wasn't fibbing, were you? No. We're nearly there. We haven't got an amazing pic. We do do really lovely picnics sometimes, don't we? Yeah, with wine um, and glasses. And with wine, yeah, exactly. We really go to town. <laughs> but it's uh, actually, something that everyone should experience that. Going to the top of the mountain, yeah? Opening a really fantastic bottle of ice cold white wine mm. and pouring it out into proper glasses and drinking it with a spectacular view. Because we've done that, and I can tell you, even though it is good, it tastes 10 times better, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed that walk up here. It's only a short walk, but and uh, really enjoyed my lunch during it. She's passed out as usual. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised she passed out. It was a long 45 minute walk from the car. And um, I mean, it is very tranquil here. Yeah. Oh. I've eaten two bags of crisps and drank three cans of beer past now. She hasn't really. Anyway, this little place that we're at now is um, a place that we discovered and no one else really comes here other than us. And we call it the Mini Campo Imperatore because there is a place called the Campo Imperatore which is a flat plateau in the mountains. <laughs> Enormous. And this is tiny. Um, so we just named it that and we used to come up here with the children and we were building a um, a stone spiral I'll see if I can find it but there's this big stone spiral that we were building somewhere up there and we used to add to it every time we came up but I'm going to see if I can give you um, a shot of the view
so all those big hills you can see in the distance right up at the top with the white tops sticking out those are the Myala, the big Myala mountains behind these lower hills and down there through that valley is Pescara and the sea and uh, this is where we are now in this beautiful spot which I love, I love it up here I'll show you where I've climbed actually I've climbed to the top of that mountain there that little peak sticking up which is Monte Rotondo and this behind you here you can see is the Sorrente Valino Andrew? Oh hello, you managed to wake up did you? You left me! <laughs> Uh, not for long. Did you wonder what? Did you think I'd done a runner? <laughs> with, the, with the car key. <laughs> Look. Yeah. San Benedetto. It just looks so beautifully nestled and situated, doesn't it? Yeah. Can you see our palazzo? Yeah, I can. It's the white. Yeah, yeah. To the right of that bit with the bell tower. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you went on the road that you can see there, it's about a 10 minute drive. Um, to the top and you park oh, you walk here in about way, 10 yeah. minutes as well yeah. and we do that in the winter don't we when it's snowy we come here in, in snow Beautiful. boots and we and the last time we came up here we came in snowshoes yeah it was great oh, wasn't yeah, it? We did snowshoeing. Yeah. yeah when it's like this it's, that seems a very long way away mm. but it's probably only two months away <laughs> maybe So, you know, I said that we built a stone spiral. We've actually found the remains yes. of the spiral. This, this is, is We were right next to it having yeah. our picnic and we didn't realise. No, and this is where it starts, the in, inside. And yeah, it goes out. Yeah. So it still is a bit of a spiral, but it's been, yeah, it's been knocked about probably by animals and um, the weather. Mm. Anyway, let's um, pack up. Pack up and um, head back down. Yep. And, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit different than our yeah. usual at the Palazzo videos, but we will be back at the Palazzo for the next few videos, I'm sure. We just yeah. wanted to show you something else. Something else and what's within easy reach here and just yeah. how wonderful, how yeah. beautiful it is in October. Really, well, all really, year really round, good. but October. October's our favourite. Yeah, if you're a keen walker or photographer. This is going to be the month yeah. I'm doing my photography tours, one of the months. I'm doing yeah. them at the beginning and the end of the year. I think this is one of the best this months. Is, this to is do ideal. This is the ideal time if you're either of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's still warm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Uh, ciao. Ciao for now.